It's happening! <laughs> my tractor is going into regen. I have been carrying a camera with myself for the last 10 hours or so waiting for this to happen to actually be able to run through it in real time. We get so many questions and so many confused people the first time they see the icons pop up on their dash. My tractor wants to do a regen right now, so I'm gonna show you exactly what it looks like. Now currently, take a look down here at my dash. Now you see this light right here. This is telling you it wants to regen. This is telling you the revs are too low. So if we take this and start speeding this up, you see my light turns out. That means my revs are high enough, but I'm not hot enough yet. Now at this point, I'm gonna go back to work, right? <clears throat> it's not actually gonna start the regen process until the, the Easy Bake Oven is hot enough in order to start to burn that sun. I'm gonna keep my eye on the light down here and eventually that light's gonna stop blinking and that's gonna tell you that the tractor has now started the regen process. Now there is a point here that you've got other buttons that are involved in this system that might be of use to you. One of them is called the Regen Inhibit button. That's how your owner's manual calls it out. Inhibit is just a fancy way of saying, don't do this now, right? If I were headed back into my garage and I was gonna park my tractor and I knew I was gonna be shutting the tractor off, I don't want that Regen process to start because I'm gonna have to interrupt it when I shut the machine off and my Easy Bake Oven has got hot for no reason, right? no point in heating it up and starting the process and it's not going to finish. That's the point that you could potentially reach down and press that inhibit button. You can make a really good case that these buttons cause more confusion <coughs> than what their function really actually is, right? There, there's not a whole lot of reason to want to do that. If I look down here and see my light's still blinking, I'm still not hot enough. But right down here is my inhibit button that I can turn on, and that would actually stop the tractor now from starting the regen process. So I have my light blinking. That's telling me it needs to be done. If I don't want it to do it, I press that to hit inhibit. So that light on, it's never gonna start the regen process. So that's not a big deal. You can do that for a half an hour if you need to. If you're finishing up a job, you're gonna take your tractor back and park it, whatever, and you don't want the process to start, but in my case, I'm gonna let it go. So I've raised those revs up. I'm waiting for it to get hot. I haven't been running here very long, so it might take it a little bit of time to get up the temperature. But once it does, my light's gonna turn solid and it's gonna burn. So in the meantime here, I'm gonna continue working. All right, so you'll notice here that my light's now solid. I only stepped away from the tractor here for about two minutes. But that heated right back up again, and now it's off and going. So now at this point, the burn cycle has started. Now would be the time that you would ideally not turn your tractor off. You'd like this cycle to finish. If you have to, you're not gonna ruin anything. The next time you start your machine, it's gonna wanna start back up again. But right now, it's burning. Now. The thing that you don't want to do now is slow your revs down. You need to continue to have that heat so the RPMs need to stay up so your engine continues running hot. Internally, your engine is letting a little bit of fuel go by on the, the exhaust stroke in order to run that burn cycle inside the Easy Bake Oven. When this is burning, I can actually sit here and smell it a little bit. It does create a little bit of exhaust um, odor, you call it. It's not a big deal. It's not a obtrusive or disgusting or anything, but you can definitely tell that it's happening. So, here it goes. We are doing a regen, and I'll tell you here about how long it takes to complete. You'll notice that I'm at 51 hours on my tractor right now. This is the third regen that I've done, so that puts me right about 17, 16, 17 hours per regen. That's on the higher side for a tractor like this. Typical is closer to 20 to 30. However, I only do loader work with my tractor. The hotter your work is, the less often you're going to regen. So I'm about the worst case scenario for 
for people with a tractor usage when it comes to regen. I do a lot of loader work down around lower RPMs, and so for that reason, I'm gonna regen a little bit more often than most people will, but for my basically 100% loader work type tractor, 16, 17 hours between every regen. And here we go, we're still working with the regen on. <laughs> no issues, no power loss, no nothing really. In fact, I even dropped the revs down about 10% just to take some of the noise away so the engine's not screaming. Oh, it finished. <laughs> I think that took maybe 15 minutes. So that was it. That was as dramatic as the regen process can be. Um, <laughs> we get a lot of phone calls from people that see those lights come on and just don't know exactly what to do the very first time they see them. So. If you see that one on there with the arrow blinking with the up arrow, that's telling you to raise your engine RPM so that you get this thing hot enough to burn. The arrow, the blinky poof light will go solid as soon as the thing starts to go through the burn cycle. Give it 15, 20 minutes or so, continue doing your work. At that point, the thing's gonna finish and you go about your day. You won't see it for another interval, right? In my case, probably about another 20 hours or so. so that easy. Remember, you do have those two buttons there on your dash that will do other things. The inhibit button just delays the start of the burn process. The other one is a parked regen button, which really you should never have to use unless you bypass things too many times. It's a way to park the tractor in your driveway and force it to go through a little bit deeper level of clean than what this usually does. So that easy. A lot of your tractors are gonna have directions on this stuff up on the fender, but if you've got a machine like mine, these fenders aren't big enough in order to fit the directions on, so it's up to you to know how this process works. So if you got a piece of equipment that you're shopping for, if you need parts of service needs for a machine you've already got, give us a call at Messix. We're available at 800-222-3373 or online at messix.com.